3,890 tigers. It is not the secret to happiness. It is that happiness is the secret. Happiness is the true human superpower. Sure, we can push through anything and adapt to everything. But in happiness, our might multiplies to no end. And happiness can't be faked. Happiness depends on authenticity. I think it is the key to learning, adventuring, exploring, discovering. It is the key to invention, to creativity, to becoming a force of nature. Happiness puts us up on the highest of levels of existence. Right up there with distant supernovae, quasars, neutron stars, and stellar nurseries. On par with the universe. Contributing something that the quarks and quasars can't. I am certain we only have one flaw. Just a small, stupid mistake of nature. One that can be easily avoided so as long as we remind each other about it. To put it simply, we accept what we are born into as a standard. And along with it, we accept the false leaders as well. If the culture and its leaders are headed for a black hole, we have an overwhelming tendency to blindly follow. We have to grab each other with art and music and poetry, with doodles and graffiti, hugging, shouting and howling. Grab each other by the ears and whisper was gently rocking head in every direction. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And when we snap out of it, out of that gravitational pull, we must begin our journey up, all the way up. Nobody knows what comes first. Healing, leadership, love of life, joy of being, love, happiness, wisdom, greatness, or enlightenment, authenticity, dignity, nobility, courage, Valor, honor, heroism, adventure, content of character, strength, and unbreakability, fortitude, foresight, understanding, insight, creativity, invention, dance, and rebellion. I suppose no one knows which comes first because it all comes at once. All of those marvels are one indivisible part of being human. We must avoid what dear Sir Ken Robinson referred to as taking things for granted. We must avoid assuming that something is true without thinking about it, without questioning it. We must resist 
self-indoctrination into cultures that we are merely born into. Only when we break away from that dark, thoughtless path will we be able to freely grow and rise up. Only on our way up will we find happiness and all the other marvels. And although this new century will be a challenging one, when we face it upright, enabled by the marvels that make us human, and on par with the universe, we will rise and learn and become wiser for it. We have lost 10 tigers in recent weeks. We are down to 3,890. The tragedy of the big pussycats is one way that the universe is helping us rise. Remember, first you must learn to resist indoctrination. Resist taking things for granted. Resist following leaders you don't know. Resist the fallacy of choosing the lesser evil. And second, you must take to the books. Self-educate by falling in love with humanity's most celebrated works. Listen to audiobooks. With each step upwards towards becoming a great being, you will gain more and more abilities. And third, educated humanity is a united humanity. To repeat one of the quotes by Robert R. Dre that Sir Ken Robinson was fond of. We were born of risen apes, not fallen angels. The miracle of man is not how far he has sunk, but how magnificently he has risen. We are known among the stars by our poems.